Welcome to the video about the Nissan Leaf Plus S model. Now there's a number of differences between the S model and the SV and SL, which are nuanced, maybe difficult to notice, but have a dramatically positive impact on the range. First, the tires are a 16 inch rim versus a 17 inch rim, lower rotational mass, translating to higher efficiency. Second, the Leaf S Plus versus SV and SL Plus rides about a half inch lower than the other cars. Next, there are fewer electronics in the car which leads to a lower overall power burn just to keep the car on and driving. About 200 watts or about one mile per hour of range. The headlights are not LEDs, and there are no fog lamps. Inside the car, there are a number of differences to notice. First of all, the number of menus presented to the user is less than with the SV and SL. Second thing to notice is that though there's a stereo here, uh, it does not have the navigation. Uh, the, it does have Android Auto uh, and CarPlay, which will severely offset some of the perceived deficits that you might uh, expect in terms of usability and not having onboard navigation. Also interesting to notice that the USB slot is horizontal and not vertical. When looking down to the center of the car, you'll see that there uh, is no longer the piano black around the shifter. It is gray, and there's an additional cell phone slot, which is quite convenient when driving the car. You can, in fact, fit two or even three cylinder cell phones into that slot, uh, aiding to the additional slot you have down in front, making the usability quite a bit better. On the door handle, you'll see as well, there's also matte gray, not black finish. Uh, easier to clean, though some people consider not as nice, as well as the front dash piece also has a different design, just matte gray versus the kind of uh, diamond pattern that you see in the SVA and SL. Seats are cloth, no surprise there. Mirror is just standard, it does not have uh, the auto dimming capabilities of the Nicer version. Back seats are also very similar to what you find in the SV cloth. Efficiency you'll see is quite a bit better in this car versus the SV and SL. This has to do with the reduced tire width, the smaller tires, which are a little bit lighter, the 16 versus 17 inch rims, the lighter weight of the car, the reduced electronics, which creates a slower power draw overall in terms of background power draw. Uh, all these can, and the uh, lower ride height. All together, these uh, create a significantly increased uh, amount of efficiency at 70 miles an hour. Generally, I'll see between 4 and 4.3 miles per kilowatt hour. And at 55, it uh, you can get close to five or at five plus miles per kilowatt hour. Thank you very much. In comparison, the SV Plus has the leather wrapped steering wheel, the heated seats, the vertical USB port, the piano black finish, with the electric parking brake, meaning no cell phone holder. The textured dash piece. And the piano black door piece. So for today's test, we're going to do two drives. One at about 70 miles an hour, one at 55 miles an hour. The procedures will get up to speed, then we'll reset the efficiency. 
and then we'll take a quick reading uh, just before we get off the highway, say 30 to 40 miles, to give a directional feel for what sort of efficiency you can gain with the S+. And then the same thing at 55 miles an hour. About 20 miles in, still averaging about uh, 4.3. 30 miles approximately, 4.1. a couple miles off the highway now uh, so the speed has come down off the 6761 so we've been driving for a few couple miles here so it was at 4.1 I'll just show is you can see here the economy it bounced really right just over four for the entire trip around 70 miles you know 70 uh, there were a couple sections where we were a few miles below coming into some toll booths other sections I tried to keep it above that overall it said 67 but if you the extra acceleration events it, you know, 4.1 is I think where you're going to be at, at uh, 70 miles an hour. This is driving west, so you face a little extra winds than driving east generally, but uh, overall, pretty good test. This is the Nissan Leaf S+. Plus. Second part of the trial, we're going to be doing 55 miles away back for about 40 miles. Uh, we'll reset once we get up to speed on the highway. So we're just over 10 miles in. Our economy at 57 miles an hour has been amazing, making me realize we probably had a pretty big headwind uh, going the other direction at 70. Let's see how we do at 20 and 30 miles. Let's see here that we're at 20 miles. Let's see our efficiency is insane right now. We must be getting some sort of tailwind because we're, I can't even keep this thing at 55 miles an hour uh, without a lot of struggle. I'm getting run over by just about everyone on the road. Uh, but things are looking very well in the test. You can see the speed's actually continuing to move up a little bit here. I'm trying very hard to keep it under attack. One more report at 30 miles and we'll call it quits on this test. Alright, we're here at 30 miles. You can see uh, we're at 30 minutes, 30 miles, so almost doing 60. I can't do 55. I'm just getting passed by everyone and it's borderline dangerous. Uh, you can see efficiency is just still out of this world, so we'll have to think about what the average in both directions and different speeds really means, but uh, looking really good so far. Beautiful day, 95 degrees. Running a little bit of air here just because it's so damn hot. Alright, here we go. We're about to call it. We're at 5.9 uh, and we had to take a slow down, speed up a little bit. That's why our, our speed is down and our uh, efficiency is also down because we had an acceleration event there. We take it down about 40 and then back up to 60 again. But we're done. This test has uh, been better than expected in terms of overall efficiency and uh, thank you for watching. So we're back, the five miles off the highway. You can see we've gained a little efficiency here. Our average miles per hour has come down. So you can see we've been 96.6 miles. I think we've left at about the same mileage uh, on the GOM as we arrived with just because of the change in speed and efficiency versus on the way out. Uh, you can see if you, even if you ignore the first few bars, you can see we were really balancing, whoa, really close to upper fives, low sixes there, you know, on doing over 55 miles an hour, which is just bonkers efficient I must have had a tailwind which makes me believe that uh, my 70 mile or near 70 mile an hour time was uh, reading low because of a headwind and high because of the uh, 60 you know 58 59 mile an hour return trip uh, you can see another nice thing because this is a lighter car it doesn't require much as much power to push it uh, our battery temperature is still middle bars which is what we left with uh, 95 degrees again we've done 90 plus miles in 90 plus miles an hour highway most of it though some of it not super fast highway and the temperature bars haven't moved at all uh, this car does not get hot nearly as fast as even the sv plus which we have uh, next door in our garage here so um thank you for watching and uh look forward to uh just so another thing just to notice uh, we do run our tires uh high at 44 hot 44 45 hot 42 cold Thanks.